words of our divine mother from the book words of the mother volume 14 topic difficulties page 246 our divine mother says whenever things become difficult whenever things become difficult we must remain quiet and silent Whatever is the difficulty, if we keep truly quiet, the solution will come. The errors can become stepping stones. The blind groppings can be changed into conquests. To keep study one's aspiration and to look at oneself with an absolute sincerity are the sure means to overcome all the obstacles. A Divine Mother says all difficulties are there to test the endurance of your faith. Look life in the face from the soul's inner strength. Look life in the face from the soul's inner strength and become master of circumstances. One Sadak says, Sweet Mother, May the Divine Mother give me the necessary force so that the following prayer of mine may become effective. As a son of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother, my greatest interest is in truth. Let not the mountain of pride hidden in nature distort in any way the moments of this truth, the glorious sun, lift me above smallness. For this, our sweet mother says, Do not let the view of the part hide the perception of the whole and the details of one step obstruct the concentration on the goal. My blessings are always with you. One sadhak comes up to the mother and says, Sweet mother, I would like to pray to the mother to kindly explain to me the meaning of the dramatizing of everything by the vital nature. For this, our Divine Mother says, What I meant is that life is always full of difficulties, hardships and sufferings. This is a common fact and each one has to face his own lot of them. The only way to face them properly is to endure and to put one's interest, hope and faith in the inner life and consciousness turn towards the Divine aspiring for the divine and capable of receiving the divine's force and help. But often the vital being or some part of it takes the kind of perverse pleasure in giving a dramatic importance to each and every difficulty and thus cuts the contact with the inner being and the divine's force. This bad habit which is common to many people must be stopped and then each one can and will feel that he receives very concretely the help that he needs to go through the ordeals of life. Our ordeals never exceed our capacity of resistance. The difficulties are for the strong to help them make stronger. Persevere and you will conquer. You can be sure that my help Force and blessings are always with you, my children, with all love. The ordeals of everybody, says our Divine Mother. The difficulties and the ordeals are for everybody. It is the way of meeting them that differs according to individuals with love and blessings. Our Divine Mother says, the only way out of your difficulty is to find the psychic being and to live entirely in its consciousness. The only way out of your difficulty is to find your psychic being and to live entirely in its consciousness. Life upon earth as it is now is full of miseries and any sensitive heart is full of sorrow because of that. To get in contact with the divine consciousness and to live in its mercy, its strength and its light is the only true effective way to get out of this difficulty and suffering and by uniting with the psychic, 
we can obtain these conditions our divine mother says my help and blessings are always with you for this purpose all difficulties are solved by taking rest in the divine arms for these arms are always opened with love to shelter us when everything goes wrong says our divine mother when everything goes wrong one must know how to remember that god is all powerful the divine is present among us when we remember him always he gives us the strength to face all circumstances with perfect peace and equanimity become aware of the presence and your difficulties will disappear become aware of the divine presence within you around you above you and your difficulties will disappear a divine mother says to live within in constant aspiration towards the divine only that renders us capable of regarding life with a smile and remaining in peace whatever is the external circumstance live within do not be shaken by external circumstances a divine mother says he who lives to serve the truth is not affected by outward circumstances to live only for the divine this means to have overcome all the difficulties of the individual life next topic mistakes mistakes can be effaced says our divine mother if errors and mistakes could not be effaced at every moment there would be no hope of salvation for the world do not give much importance to the little incidents of your life do not give too much importance to the little incidents of your life the importance of these incidents lies in the extent to which they have served you to make a progress and once the progress has been made the consequences of the past errors if there are any disappear through the intervention of the divine grace our divine mother says for the supreme lord sin does not exist all defect can be effaced by sincere aspiration and by transformation what you feel is the aspiration of your soul that wants to discover the divine and live him persevere and be and more and more sincere and you will succeed sin belongs to the world and not to the yoga if you make one mistake in life then you may have to suffer all your life it doesn't mean that everybody suffers like that there are people who go on making mistakes and yet they do not suffer but those who are born for a spiritual life have to be very very careful next topic mistakes no torment worry or sadness a divine mother says if the sense of unworthiness fills you with overflowing gratitude and throws you at shurabindo's feet in an ecstasy of joy then you can know that it comes from a true source if on the contrary it makes you miserable and brings an impulse to hide or run away then you can be sure that its origin is hostile to the first you can open freely the second must be rejected one must not torment oneself says the mother one must not torment oneself over errors that one may commit but one must keep a perfect sincerity in one's aspiration and in the end everything will be all right thinking too much about one's impurities does not help it is better to keep the thought fixed on purity light peace that one wants to acquire question the more i try to become conscious of your presence divine mother the more i try to become conscious of your presence within me the more something in me comes in the way for that our divine mother says you must not worry about these little things they have no importance in themselves they value us to show us where unconscious still exists in our nature so that we can bring down the light there
everything even if things are not as they ought to be worry does not help to make them better a quiet confidence in the source of strength is the divine